We're QAC TV, and we're here because it's Terrifying. So, what are we here for today, Ed? We're here promoting SantaCon. SantaCon originated in 1994 in San Francisco, and it expanded now to 300 cities in 44 countries. Last year, we brought it to Ken Island. It's a charitable organization that we raise money for local organizations. And you probably need a little bit of help, which is why you brought Mia, right? <laughs> so Mia, how'd you get involved? Ed came to me last year and he said, you know, you're great at putting together events. Um, I want you to help me execute this. This is my plan. Let's make it happen. And we did. And Dan. And Dan, and Dan why are you here? No. Just to help. <laughs> Just for muscles? That's right. Flex for us. Strong elf, man. So stop one is at El Jefe, Spanish for the Jefe. And we're standing here with the general manager, Sarah, and Brian, who's the director of educational curriculum at the Sweet Bay Magnolia Academy at McArdle Center. Well done, Bruce. I, mean, I still got it. So Sarah, we're at El Jefe. What kind of things are you going to have going on for the, uh, for the event? We actually have starting out Hot Tub Limo Duo will be here from 4 to 7. And then I have a DJ that's going to take over at 7. And then we also have um, a local gentleman that does competitive grilling that has donated his time. And he's going to be grilling um, pulled pork sandwiches outside as well. So, so much music, food, yeah. and fun. All, everything that you need will be here. But if I know Brian, you had him at beer. A uh, beer? <laughs> so, and Brian, we have Brian here who's from the McArdle Center, the Sweet Bay Magnolia Academy. And why are we here supporting you guys? So again, we uh, have a lot of fundraisers going on helping with the school. Uh, we have auction items from PRS, and we have tickets for the Ravens game on New Year's Day. We're at stop two, and that is the Poor House. And we're here with bartender Brittany. Brittany, what are you guys going to be doing on December 9th for the SantaCon? Um, we are donating 10% of all of our proceeds from 4 to 10 um, to the First Responders Fund. We're having discounted uh, appetizers and drinks all night. And then we have live music. We have Josh Willis from 5 to 8. And then we have DJ Duff from um, 8 to midnight. We have a new menu, so we have lots of new appetizers. There will be discounted price all night. So. so eat well, drink well, have a great time, and help support the first responders. So how are we helping do that? We're helping to support the first responders. It's a new charity created through Chesapeake Charities, and it's fighting locally the heroin and opioid addiction crisis that we're having currently. And this one, this event is in memory of Anthony Reno Jr., who we lost earlier this year to the epidemic. Um, we're going to be having bracelets in memory of him. We have the ultimate Ravens New Year's Eve tailgate raffle. Tickets will be on sale now through the event. Everyone who attends the event will be receiving one of our pamphlets and it's for loved ones and families dealing with addiction with all the local resources listed on the back. So make sure stop two is the poor house. So can we look at the camera and get a go bangles? Go. Oh no. no <laughs> this is the box for Schwinky Toy Drive. Each Santa needs to bring a toy to SantaCon and deposit it in one of the boxes at any of the locations. And this box is nice and big, so we need a lot of toys. We're at stop three, and that's the Ram's Head Shore House. And we're here with Scott, the general manager. What are you guys doing for SantaCon, Scott? We have a great young band, guys, uh, Black Dog Alley. They'll be starting us off at four o'clock, play until about six, and then it's DJ Denise right on through the rest of the party. We're doing a lot of beer specials, including a uh, Bud Light aluminum cans, uh, some uh, holiday cheer and uh, cider, and some other fabulous drink specials. And uh, turn over to some of the food. Chef Mitch is cooking up some uh, riblets, hot dogs, some uh, beer brats, and some pulled pork sandwiches, and some other favorites that he's going to be throwing in there as well. Oh, you had me at brats. Yes. <laughs> and 20% uh, of all of that is going right back to the Rosella Foundation. It's a privilege. We're very honored to be a part of it. Very excited to be here at Ram's Head for the second year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Ram's Head. So where's some other things that your Julianne Rosella Foundation are doing in the area? Well, Bruce, we provide um, two high school senior graduating seniors uh, with a scholarship for $5,000 each. In addition, we assist families that are suddenly um, faced with tragic loss in monetary donations to help with um, costs like funeral expenses, that Thanks. type of thing. Uh, we do host a, a golf tournament August 10th of 2018. It'll be our third annual 
Julianne Rosella Memorial Golf Tournament. Very excited about that. And we got to do a promo for the last golf event, and next year we promise that we're going to come to your event and do a show live awesome. from there. Very excited. Yeah, awesome. us too. We'll have a great time. Thank you. We're at the Rams Head, and you probably noticed we're hopping the island, but buses come every 30 minutes. We're at the last stop. It's Big Bats Cafe in Stevensville, and we're here with Sherry, the manager, and you guys have a lot going on for SantaCon, but what are some things you guys are doing? From 4 to 10 that day, we're going to be having specials on aluminum but light cans, and we will have Special Olympics uh, volunteers here to help register for that evening for the Polar Bear Plunge. That's great. And that's a great foundation that you guys are doing work on. You guys do a lot for them, don't you? We do. And actually that day, from 4 to 10, we'll be donating portions of our proceeds to the Maryland State Special Olympics. That's a lot going on. That's four stops. Hopefully you go to all of them. You have a great time. And while you're out and you're drinking and you're having fun, we want you to stay safe. How are we doing that? We want everybody safe. Everyone coming to SantaCon, we want you to remember not to drink and drive. We have school buses that are going to be making the loop between the four venues that evening on the half hour. So all you have to do is come to the first venue of your choice at four o'clock and get on a bus when you're ready to tour to the other venues. We also have two hotels, local hotels, Best Western and the Holiday Inn Express at Kenton Arrows, offering discounts to any out-of-town guests or those guests that just want to make it a full evening. The bars are really happy when they see in the morning many cars on their parking lot left from the night before. So please use the taxis, use Uber, get a friend to drive, have a designated driver. Just make it safe. That's right. Stay safe. Where are you leaving your car, Mia? In the parking lot, of course. Of course. And Dan, where are you leaving your shirt? At home. At home. <laughs> so we want to do a special thank you to all the charities. Absolutely. I want to thank the charities involved, also the venues involved. We really want to make this a spectacular event every year. So please join us on SantaCon 2017, and we'll see you December the 9th. Thanks for watching QAC TV.